Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a video on Makeup Forever at TK Maxx. I was very excited when browsing the TK Maxx site to come across this on sale on there. I was actually on there looking for Halloween and then I always pop into the beauty section just in case because TK Maxx have been known to have some good stuff in. At the moment they do have some NARS and they have in the past had Urban Decay but recently they have had Makeup Forever. If you remember in one of my hauls I showed like a sort of, a, I think it's called, is it a plexiglass? plexiglass or something. Anyway I got one of those because it was the only thing they had on show. On the website they had one of these palettes. Now this was $16.99 which was totally amazing and they did have a code for free delivery but I think that's expired now. But very very excited to get my hands on this palette. So this is the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows 2 palette and I hope the light's okay. But this is the box that it came in and it has the numbers of the shades. They don't have names, they just have like their code numbers on the back. So nothing really exciting about the box itself, but it does come with a little book. And this book is just about the Makeup Forever shadows and it's also about the palette. So it says that the looks are kind of going downwards. So there's three separate looks that you can create. The playful look, the bold look, and the sultry look. And it does give full instructions on how to get each look. And then this is the actual palette itself. Now the first thing that I noticed about this palette is just the sheer weight of it. It is so heavy. I mean, it feels like comparable weight to that huge Kat Von D palette I've got. It's really, really heavy and sturdy, which is really great. Again, it's just got the letters on the back and it does have a mirror in the lid. But we'll bend that back over. And then it did come with a very thick piece of plastic on there that is to protect the shadows. And these are the colours. Now I think the colours in this palette are so pretty. You know I love my teals and peacock type of colours but I also love purples as well and some of these colours look like they're going to be really nice. So I wanted to make a video quickly on it and do swatches because I desperately use this but I don't like to use things before I've actually made a video on them because I like to show them how they appear when they're new and then give you an idea of swatches. Now they probably will have these maybe in some of their larger stores. My TK Maxx, which is the Sunderland one, doesn't have a lot of beauty products in there. It's so minimal, it's not very good at all. But even if it did, it just seems that it's really terrible for people just opening things and then poking their fingers in all the shadows. Now if I'm in TK Maxx and I wanna see the color of something, I open it, I look at it, and then I put it back in the box. I never swatch the stuff at TK Maxx because if you're a big fan of say cargo um, <laughs> then and there's a cargo palette there if I've come along and swatched it then I've ruined it and you're not gonna buy it or you may not buy it it depends on how you feel about that kind of thing but I wouldn't buy it and I feel like I am spoiling somebody else's enjoyment and the chance that somebody else can get that and really love that palette so I would never swatch those things in store not unless it's a tester so which TK Maxx obviously don't do so I just prefer to get this online just because I know I'm going to get it, it's going to come and there's nothing going to be swatched in it. So I might look in stores and see if they've got them but I think if these are in stores these are going to fly out really fast. So I'm not going to say the names of the shades. I will take a photograph of the back of the palette which does have the shades on it and I'll insert that at the end of the video just in case you do already have some Makeup Forever shadows and you might want to see if you've got any other ones that are in this palette. But let's get to doing some swatching. Right, so I'm going to swatch these the way they are in the palette and I'm going to do it on the back of my hand so I'm just going to do the nine as they are here. And I have used the Urban Decay Primer Push and this is just one of the little ones that you get like with palettes and stuff. They don't tend to do these very much now. I think it's because basically they last such a long time and I think it was just kind of a case where people were getting these with their palettes and then not buying them full size. So, Oh, they feel very buttery to the touch. That's those three shades there. There they are. Really pretty. So those are your highlight sort of shades. So we've got a nice soft pink, a champagne sort of colour, and then a gold. But it's not too yellow, so that's okay. Really, really pretty. There's that pink. It's got a lovely shimmery quality to it. It's really pretty. It's a gorgeous colour. So I'm really happy with that. Look at that. Pigmentation of these is just great. Again, that's got a nice shimmery quality to it as well. 
and that is the blue colour. Really pretty colours those two. Right, this is kind of a bronzy shade which I'm excited about because I was a bit worried it might come a bit yellowy, but it doesn't. So that's actually really pretty. I think that would be really nice on the lid, that bronzy colour. And then the darker shades are at the bottom. Oh, this purple does look very bright. <laughs> purple is gorgeous. It's really, really vibrant. Oh, this is pretty. So that's a very peacocky shade. Seems like it's got like a darker base, but then it's got that teal on the top. And then the last shade looks like a plummy shade. Yeah, this is a very dark based purple, like plum shade. That's really pretty. I think that would be so dramatic all over the lid with kind of a dark plum in the crease. It might even work quite nice, just really brightly though, to have this on the lid and then have this in the crease. I think those two colours would look really nice together. But those are the nine shades in this palette. As you can see, I just rubbed the brush in and then put it on. I've done swatches this time with primer, just with primer, because to be fair, I know I sometimes do them with and without primer, but I would never wear an eyeshadow without primer. It just helps it last longer and it just helps it be more even on the lid. So if you have oiliness or patchiness or any kind of thing on the lid, it just a primer helps it go on so much more smoothly. But these are beautiful. Those highlight shades are gorgeous. And then, yeah, really, really pretty. So I can't wait to do some looks with this. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go and check out your TK Maxx or check out TK Maxx online. This is still in stock. They do have some other Makeup Forever items on there. So if you're interested, you can also check those out. And thank you very much for watching as always. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I can't speak. Subscribe. I'm going to love and leave you and see you all soon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Bye, guys.